So hey guys, um, uh, it's Seven Demo Seven here, and just flying around my local park here, and actually at Kite Hill, which is a nice flying hill. Started a weird rainstorm, so um, I thought I'd just go over some of my uh, equipment because I actually haven't done it yet. Um, this is my uh, clone out here. I call it a clone out because it's a clone of the 250 side quads. It's not specifically any type. If you look, if you guys are uh, subscribed to Bruce at RC Model Reviews, you'll. He'll tell you the differences between the sizes of the most popular quads here. I am running 12 amp um, Afro ESCs from Hobby King. The Nays 32 board, which is right here, and is currently unarmed. The DYS 2300KV uh, motors. Um, I don't know the size. I think it's uh, the standard size, though. What's really cool about this is that you can see um, you can actually run six inch propellers. I still have another half inch here, so a six inch propeller would bring this another quarter inch out, which is great. Um, I'm currently actually only running a, um, as far as my Fat Shark system, this is a 25 milliwatt video transmitter. And I actually accidentally bought that when I was first getting into FBV. I thought it was a 250 and I misread it and I decided to just not send it back. And I ended up using it for a, a mini quad like this. It kind of has about as much range as you really need. So. Um, these, of course, are the GemFam 5 by 3 inch props. They work really good. I'm still looking forward to... Oh, it's starting to rain here. Still looking forward to the other 6 inch props. Um, I don't tend to like carbon because they're expensive and, you know, when you break them, that it can transfer some more energy to uh, your, your arms here or your motors to bend the shaft. I tend to like the plastic props because they're, they're just disposable, basically. So One last thing I, I didn't mention is the orange... The Spectrum Orange receiver here. I call it a Spectrum Orange, but it's made by Orange and got it from Hobby King. Quite a value. I mean, it's, I'm running the PPM setup set, set on it, which is just the one wire setup, which is plugged um, right here into the board, and I'm getting power off the receiver also right here. Um, so I'm running, it's a one wire setup, but I think it's called CPPM. I'm not well versed in, in, in the differences between CPPM and PPM and some of the, I think it's S Plus, but. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I like the receiver. I mean, I think it was $6, $9, somewhere around there. Uh, craziness. So, I mean, for a, an entire receiver, I'm used to the AR8000s, which are, you know, $75, $80 to be uh, used. So, as far as this frame goes, I mean, it's really nice. There's a couple of flaws and inconsistencies. Like, the little board um, piece of carbon right here was too tall, and I had it was actually bending the carbon down here. Uh, to get it to click in so what I did is I actually I just had to mill off a little bit um, I have this may not be the proper way to do it but I have these bolts coming all the way up from the bottom of the craft up to the PD, PCB and up to the board the main board here and the holes don't line up perfectly so the, the screws are canted off just a little bit so um, the quality control there is just a, a little bit off but I tell you what this craft it really it really um, does a great job as far as flying goes on I don't have any experience with any of the other quads, so I really can't tell you, you know, if the if the Blackout clone is better than the QAV250. But um, I can just tell you what my experience is so far, and the experience has been mind blowing. I really love the way this thing flies. Uh, anyway, there was one other thing I wanted to go over, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, so when you're when you're putting your camera, your your it comes with a Mobius mount, which is nice. It has some nice straps that will go right through here, and some rubber mounts. When you're putting the GoPro on here, it goes across this way and there's really no way of strapping it on. So I may end up having to use one of the GoPro sticky mounts, putting it right here and just hard mounting it. I want to see how much jello I get through the video before I actually do that or try it. I did a couple flights right now so you guys will see. Uh, anyway, hopefully that gives you some guys some information on whether you want to buy this frame or not. I think it's like about, you can buy them as cheap as $30 and I see them go up to about $50. But it had some landing gear. So let me just tell you about this. I had some landing gear that snaps on here. Nobody ever uses it. I put it on in the initial phases and I came down for a hard landing and I banged it. I actually split it open. And what happened is I decided to test the carbon fiber to see if the carbon fiber was real or not. I took my torch to it and I, my, I held it on there for a while and it didn't burn, which is a good sign. It had some of the resin inside because it wasn't a, a carbon weave at the time, but it didn't burn. So I am thinking this is actually an okay carbon fiber. It's not the highest quality, I would say, but at this price, it's pretty much disposable. I mean, you can get three or four of these frames for the price of a, of a, a blackout. And, you know, not to disrespect the guys that designed that, that quad, but it is just cut out carbon fiber. And um, once you get it designed and milled once, you know, it, there's not a whole lot of operational cost. So I don't mind buying a cheaper 
less expensive um, quad that you might crash a lot and you might break uh, you know I don't want to spend $158 for a new frame so anyway thanks for watching my video talk to you later see ya